everyone. Welcome to Genitos. This was recommended in the shooting gallery thread by Green Intern. Um, I know the central gimmick of the game, and that is really it. I played like 10 seconds of it, too. So, yeah, so as you can see, it's a cute little Space Invader style shoot 'em up. As far as I'm aware, haha. Um, I kind of dig the aesthetic, though. Anyway, Genetos, Genetos is completely free, by the way, if you're interested in playing it. It's uh, G-E-N-E-T-O-S, I'm sure the title has it there. But yeah, right now it's fun, it's cute. I'm imagining the video thumbnail for this, though, is probably a little different than what you're seeing, because, like I said, I do know the gimmick, but... I don't know when it'll come into play, or exactly how. And I thought I had died there the first time that happened, but alright. So now, it looks like we're not quite a Galaga ship. It looks like maybe some kind of like old PC-98 type of ship, maybe. But we killed the Space Invader boss, so I guess that's the end of Stage 1. Cool. So yeah, apparently, um, oh, I can move up and down now, cool. Yeah, you, you go through generations of shoot 'em ups more or less, so which is kind of a great gimmick, and I'm noticing, yeah, I'm only allowed to go to that half of the screen, got it. So, I do not believe I died to that, I've been playing bullet hells, like, constantly, and then, ridiculous. Oh, I see, I, if you hold down the shoot button, too, you rapid fire, so that makes life a lot easier, yeah. Alright. It's, um... Yeah, right now it's kind of a neat little gimmick and stuff. I'm interested to see where it goes. Uh, the mutant looks pretty similar to the... Well, looks very different from the mutant we fought before. And this is a little more... Yeah, it's getting a little more intense. This is... Probably a better boss battle than we had before, but here we go. Oh, cool, now I get the ability to launch a bomb, so... Whoa, what the... I don't think that was the bomb. There we go. Yeah, that's... Alright, so that's the bomb. Got it. I'm not quite aware what this does. Maybe... Maybe it's supposed to be, like, a focus button type of thing, or something? I'm not really sure, honestly. But anyway... Yeah, the boss... Eh, seems alright, you know? got two levels of bullets. I unfortunately have the feeling I have a pretty big hitbox a la old shoot 'em up, so kind of not used to that lately. I've been playing a lot of these stupid bullet hell games, but yeah, Genodos is uh, kind of a neat idea. I'm kind of interested to see where else it goes. But for now, yeah, just there we go. And that's boss two down. I feel so accomplished. Um, it's alright. Now we're a th now that we're a third generation shooter. It looks, it looks like I have a bomb gauge of sorts to the left there. So it's not just a standard I have four bombs type of thing, I don't think. I'm wondering if I'll earn like homing lasers and stuff. Okay, so this is maybe like a Truxton type of game. Oh, okay, now this is a a little more intense than the old vertical scrolling shooting ups that I was used to in third generation, but um, I'm liking the little spinning shuriken type of thing though around me. I could definitely use that. All right, so whoa, all right, yeah, yeah. Right now, it's a fun, definitely a fun game. Obviously, I think it's definitely worth your time. Can I earn another bomb and the thing fills up, maybe? Yes, I do. Okay. So yeah, the mechanics are pretty simple, nothing crazy. It's just like a neat, fun little gimmick, I guess. Um, wondering what sort of thing my ship will look like when we get to the next stage. So, let's hopefully get there soon. I guess... Uh, 
Well, no, I think the first stage I met, I saw the boss before I evolved or whatever I did. So, okay. Yeah, so let's see here. I guess you always fight the mutants is the idea. All right. All right, game, I got, I got your number that way. What? <laughs> Sorry, sometimes when you're in these shoot 'em ups it's like kind of hard to concentrate on things to say. Which is a good excuse that for me doing these things, because then I don't have to pretend to be original or anything. Um, did I lose that, or... Wow, I don't... Okay, so my hitbox is a little smaller than the sprite, thankfully. Okay, um... So let's see, what's... Oh, I thought I died again. Alright, move slowly plus sub-weapon. Alright, so that's... Yeah. Whoa, what? Oh. Okay, so now that we got the focus kind of attack and everything... Yeah, that works. Cool, got it. Now that we got that... Yep, we can... And I see, look at that. Uh, I have a little, like, dot on my ship. So that's probably the hitbox, and boom. All set. Cool, whoa, oh, hey! That was very close. All right, um... Yeah, it's... it's so this is pretty neat and all. Um, there we are. I think the bosses kind of outlast their welcome a little bit, but... Cool. So, what's the next stage, then? So we went through vertical shoot em ups. So it looks like we're going to bullet hell type of stuff, maybe? Oh, okay, cool. So we get, like, these sort of Mode 7-esque, I suppose, type of landscapes. It's kind of neat. All right. Cool. All right. Um, I'm liking that. I feel like that's a musical shooter, too, from the way, like, the beat's going every time I kill one of these ships. I don't know what game that is exactly, so... Oh, all right. <laughs> it almost seems like, um, even though it's like a bullet hell style thing, like a Geometry Wars-esque kind of deal. Yeah, I don't really know quite what style of game this is supposed to be a send-up of or a, an example of. Um, polygonal type of thing makes me almost think of like, one, you know, what are those games, like the Vertex style shoot? Like arcade games, you know, like Star Wars, the original, original arcade game from like the 70s, if you ever saw that, but I have the feeling that's not really supposed to be it. I got really lucky there, I used the other button. I meant to use a bomb. So let's see what we got here. Um, I don't quite know what this, is, this part's supposed to be, or even if it's supposed to really be anything. It might just be a cool thing developer did. Sometimes, you know, developers do cool shit just because it's cool shit. You never know. One thing I've been wondering about lately is how hard it is to make a shoot 'em up I don't know if it's just like some kind of rail thing where you just sort of time a bunch of events to happen, aka enemy spawning and things like that. I don't know. It might be one of those things that's like cool to try out as a little like experiment in like Game Maker or something like that. Let me just bomb through this, or... Oh, my bombs suck. I kind of forgot about that, because I haven't used a bomb in a while, but... Cool. All right, I notice there's a combo meter, too. I'm not quite sure what makes that go up or down or anything, but, you know. All right, so... Genidos is, um... Not particularly intense or hard or anything, but it's definitely fun... It's got a neat idea behind it. I'm liking it. I, I would definitely recommend Genidos. So thanks for that, green uh, intern. Whoa, okay, so we got to the boss now. Yeah, well, I, I, I can't believe it's the mutants. What a, what a stunner. It's rare to see plot twists in a shoot 'em up, but you know. Here we are. Um, 
Jeez. Okay. So this boss. Wait. God. Is one of those. Yeah, this is one of those minion type of bosses. Okay. This time around we have. Whoa. Oh, I know. Okay. The boss changed too, which is. I don't know if that's been happening. I just haven't been noticing. Okay, my ship looks totally weird now, and I'm not quite aware of what's going on here. So. Got it. Um. Oh, I do have, like, options, though. Maybe that's kind of the thing I have gained from this. Alright, I gotta start using focus mode more. Yeah. Whoa, okay. And I have a really good sub weapon. Yeah, I really should be using that a lot more than I have been. Um. Yeah, bullet patterns. Bullet patterns are not awful or anything. Whoa, that was a little faster than I expected it to be. I like how the... Yeah, I like how the percussion kind of comes in and everything. That's a really cool effect. Like a little bit musical shoot em up. It's got like a little bit of everything, which is kind of a neat sort of thing. Oh, I get it. So that alarm lets me know that I'm full of meter. And piss and vinegar as well. Cool. Alright, um... I don't know how many lives I have is the only thing. Okay. I also wonder if the FPS meter at 31 means something. Like, if I can gain that. Because I know I've played other shoot-em-ups and gone to 60. Who knows, but... That'd be kind of neat if that was a mechanic. Final generation. Well, there must be more than five. What? Oh. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Um, you do see that. That's kind of like an Ikaruga thing. I saw it in Exceed also. That's pretty crazy. Um. Actually, yeah, an asteroid belt type of things. That is something you see in a lot of, a lot of these shmups. Well played, uh, Genodos. I noticed too. I'm not collecting items anymore. Kigi no meki. I don't know what that is. Variation. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> oh, I almost feel bad. I'm killing these things. Not that bad, though. It sounds like an alarm clock whenever... Oh, gosh, whenever you focus. Um, certainly fun. Uh, this is like kind of like a, a stage you'd see in maybe like a Life Force or... I don't know if you've ever seen like video of like Salamander. Like Salamander 2, the arcade version, which looks totally trippy. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, anyway, leaves, yeah, so this is definitely, like, some kind of weird-ass, trippy, new-age shooter type of deal, yeah. Um, it's weird, too, because I feel like the frame rate is above 30, actually. Um, that won't ever come out on YouTube, but... I don't know, maybe not. I just feels that way, maybe I'm crazy. Whoa, what the? Okay, this? Yeah, this I don't really know quite what it's supposed to be. Oh, you... <laughs> Alright, well, that was totally strange. Um, this might be a game that would be good to be Let's Played by someone who's, like, really into shoot-em-ups. So I'm interested to see that. Hajime, beginning... Uh, I have no idea what. Oh, there were subtitles at the bottom. Who the hell? That would have made things easier. All right, so this is the what? The final boss, I guess. Um, or what? <laughs> All right, space embryo. So I guess we have to kill that. Is that the idea? 
Uh, alright. Well, how very Kubrick. Um, yeah, okay, so, this is definitely a good send-up of the trippy shit. You see these sh shoot -em ups all the time. Whoa. I, I had a nice one combo going, too. Fuck you, game. Maybe... what? I destroy all these composite things. It's kind of neat, too, that we started with the generations and we went into these, like, distinct phases or whatever. I wonder, maybe these are, like, the types of shoot 'em ups that are out there, you know, where, uh, the stop sign one are sillier things. I... I don't know, stuff like Cho and Nikki or, like, the Proteus games. I'm not really aware of how I'm deflecting these bullets, or even if I am. They just seem to, like, move away from me at some point. I figured I had the bombs, might whoa, well use them. Alright, um, there we go. I was wondering when that boss was gonna die. So... It's kind of, uh, what is it, like, Radiant Silver Gun-ass type of deal? Nuke, I can't tell what that says. I don't know why they always try to make you read in these games when you're, like, dodging... Well, don't put the characters on top of the bullets. Not like I can read it anyway. It's, uh, somewhere... Oh. I say. Okay. Um... Alright, so that's... A pretty... Weird... Thing. I, hmm. Yeah, I'm totally not getting what this is supposed to be. I could really go to see, like, a video or something where someone explains what this is supposed to, like, what references. I'm just getting into bullet hell and all sorts of different sh shoot 'em ups lately. Honestly, I'm, I'm more used to your Gradiuses and all your Hyderas and things like that. I don't know what this nonsense is supposed to be. Whoops. Yeah, this is definitely sp all right. I wonder. If, I mean, is this the end of the game, or is this? What do we got? What else do we have, Genitus? Uh, do I have 14 lives left? Seriously, is that stock in the lower left that I just noticed? Shit. I picked normal difficulty, right? I guess I should have gotten going with a different one. Um, cool. It's weird, too, the explosions really do seem timed with the music somehow, even though it doesn't seem like that could be the case. Yeah, why is it, why are these things going away from my ship like that? I mean, I've been killed before, so I like that. Yeah, so what the hell? It's just bomb everywhere. Um, whoa! Doesn't matter to me. I don't. Okay, I don't like using bombs anyway. I was about to say. Oh, you. Hoisted by my own bomb batard. Why? I wish the bullets wouldn't go away from me. Is it because I'm on normal difficulty and those things just can't hurt you? What the fuck? Do the things that are rotating around me, like absorb the word I don't understand I really don't get what why some things kill me and some things don't so like a Nicaruga thing going on where I can touch a certain color yeah this like this fuck it 
I don't have time to understand. Just gotta dodge DNA strands. Try not to rhyme. Um, I don't even see like a boss meter though. Right. Yeah, things hurt me, so I'm not quite clear on what's going on with some of these things. I guess it must be maybe whatever. I just I'll dodge the bullets and not worry about it. Oh, all right. So, is there like a, oh dear, I could really go for like a meter or something to tell me like how far along I am to kill in this thing. Oh, why did, I... okay, so this, I think this boss is kind of, a, I, I know it's probably the last boss, but I feel like kind of outstanding as welcome to be frank. Did I do something right there? Or? Oh, I thought maybe I had to rotate around it or something. But yeah, I don't know why the game sometimes will... Uh, guy shakes sometimes. Assuming it's because I'm doing the right things, hitting the right spots, the right notes, as it were. Whoa. Um, geez. But something happened there. Something is definitely going on. I don't think, I mean, it would be kind of lame if they made me fight like a puzzle boss after all was said and done. Can I remember the, the focus? It's easier to remember the focus in these, like, tried and true bullet hells, and, you know, the games where they don't, I don't know, knock all the bullets away, etc. But, what was this? Oh, am I evolving to the next stage or whatever? Was that what I was doing the whole time? I wasn't even looking down. Alright. Got an extra life there, good. All right, cool. I thought, wait, I thought that was the final, oh. Here's where we go abstract. I guess I called that. Now, a brief history of evolution. Wait, no, why would the earth be above the city, though? Alright, well that was, um, that was fun. Thanks, Green Intern. Uh, thanks for test playing all this stuff. Thanks, Kazuhiko Sakaguchi. Our, um, thanks, Oil Rig. The telephone or power line. Flower. I don't quite know what the first two things have to do with evolution, but there it is. <laughs> I see, that's that's interesting. I guess that's where a lot of these came from. You know, I've still never played Res, honestly. Or Anubis, or Esp... Or... Wow, I have... Maybe all of these games are a good, uh... Good thing to follow up on. Thanks for that, then, Genidos. I have, uh, new leads. As it were. Aru at Mite, is that what that said? Whatever. Cool. Um... See, that's, it's always really interesting how it's always these one person who makes these shoot 'em up games. So, thank you, Tetsuya Koyama. B plus, too, for my very first time playing. I don't think that's so bad. But, um, before we, before we call it, which I am want to do soon, because I am very tired, um, Let's just try out Lunatic Mode or whatever you have it. Yeah, I don't think that was a particularly great re replay to save. Um, so, okay, let's... Uh, go original. Alright, let's go to Creator. It's very dangerous. Crazy. Alright. 
Let's give it a shot. Wow, even that? Okay, that's kind of funny. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> so that's kind of, alright, so that's tricky, but, you know, there's not, I guess there's not much they can do with it, really. Um, what does this do? Okay. Cool. This last one's kind of a pain in my ass. Uh, what does this button do exactly? Whatever. Okay, so... Oh. I see, that shows the hitbox. Got it. I guess because it's version 1 or something. It's... Kind of a pain. Oh, let me. That's right, I gotta evolve so I can shoot this thing better. Actually, that's an interesting thing. I wonder how far you can get without evolving. Oh, fuck. They're only giving me like three of these things. Come on! There we are. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Cool. Alright. Alright, Exceed. Um, or Genodos, rather. Let's see what's... Um, wow, okay, yeah, that is pretty nuts, and there is no focus. Got it. Alright. There we go, yikes, okay. Alright, um... Shit, yeah. There we go, got it. That's weird that maybe it only lets you get up to a certain number, you know, and then you have to fight the boss and get your evolution after the fact there. Okay, that's kind of nuts. Holy shit, um... Damn. Yeah, this is pretty tough. Okay. So lunatic modes. Alright, good. So I don't feel so bad finishing this my first try with a B plus because lunatic mode offers a lot more uh, a lot more bang for your shoot 'em up buck. Even though it's free. It's tough. So yeah, Genados, J G E N E T O S. Give it a shot. Got nothing to lose. Uh I'm your pal Slow Beef. I will tell you to take easy in one sec. Let me just finish shooting this up. Alright, I'm finished shooting that up. Later.